Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Beatriz Corrales, Spain. And on my left, Costa Gilmore, Scotland. Costa Gilmore to serve. Love all. Play. Now for the excitement of the men's doubles final. Kim Astrup and Angus Scarab Rasmussen claimed their first Swedish Masters as a pair. Kim, of course, won it before One his first club. international tournament win four years ago with Rasmus Flatberg. And we now move on to the women's singles. And again, like the men's doubles, is top seed against number two in red and serving, Kirsty Gilmore of Scotland. And in two green, Spain, top seed Beatrice Corrales. Corrales, who has recently achieved a career high world ranking of 23, two Spanish on the first page of the world ranking, of course, Carolina Mann, number seven in the world, and world champion. <laughs> Kirsty Gilmore of Scotland, number 26 in the world, and really a new Three, focused. last. Kirsty Gilmore, after the, her exploits in the Commonwealth Games back in the summer, seemed so long ago now, those games in Glasgow. Last victory for Gilmore came at the Spanish Open. And before that, exactly 12 months ago, here, the Swedish Masters defending champion the Scott would like to go back to back in Sweden. Did it in 2012. Four, love. And she won consecutive Czech internationals. Service over. A fantastic end to 2004. One, four. Runner up at the Scottish Open Grand Prix, then winning the Welsh and Irish Opens. Both international challenge ah. events, the same uh, level as this week. Two, Masters. four. And then uh, the following week, runner up again at the Italian International. Elevating Corrales of 23 in the world. Before that, won the Bulgarian International. French international back in uh, April 2014. Service over. 5-2. Beatrice, one of these players who really flourishes when she travels alone. I've seen her play her best badminton win most of her tournaments when she's on her own. Pretty much self-sufficient on and off the court when she travels around the circuit. Six, two. Two very active players on the European circuit over the past number of years, of course, Gilmore spending a lot more time Sorry, so over. The super serious Three, circuit six. these days. The head-to-head -head shows a one-all. Last meeting, Gilmore came out on top in three games at the Scottish Open in 2013. And before that, it was Corrales, who won at the Portuguese International in two, 21-17, 21-17. Silva. Beatrice not dropped a game en route to this final. Okay. First 
first round, beating Zaitseva. Seven, three. And, two. and then the young 17-year-old Nia Blitchfeld, qualifier also from Denmark in two. And then beating European runner-up, Anathea Madsen, again in two sets. And the semi-final win yesterday over Linda Zachiri, number four seed, 21-7, 21-16. So really top class performance this week so far from the Spanish top seed. And Kirsty as emphatic two-game victory. Eight, three. Sabrina Jacquet in the first round and again against Kelly Toma from Estonia and a 16 and 14 grind. She had to grind that win out against Petya Nedelcheva, number seven seed. And then the semi-final victory, 13 and 17 of a French number one and number six seed, Sashina Vigna one on. So both Savvy players Silva. not a drop the set on route to this final. Four, eight, Sarah Silva. Good cross court, good speed. Plenty of slice. Nine, five. Sarah Silva. Just out, same shot from Gilmore. Six, nine. Seven, nine. And that's a few times this week I've seen Kirsty just fail to execute the, execute the cross net. Better this time. Savvy Silva. Nice to flick of the wrist, pulling the shuttle across the net. Ten, seven. Sarah Silva. Good rally. From Corral has really had Gilmore under a lot of pressure. Eight, ten. Beatrice hanging in there in this match so far. Losing the first four points. But starting to find her game. Service over, 11 8 side. interval. And it's Kirsty Gilmore who takes the interval lead, 11 8.
20 seconds, 20 seconds. Eleven, eight, play. Service oh, over. Nine, eleven. No real spin on the shuttle. But certainly the accuracy of the placement and the shuttle falling almost vertically down along the net. Really difficult for Kirsty to get after coming back diagonally cross court. Ten, eleven. Service so over. Twelve, eleven. Block defense from the Spaniard. <laughs> Service over. 12 all. Thirteen, twelve. For the first time in this match, Beatrice Corrales gets her nose in front. Oh. Sorry, Silva. Thirteen, all. Fourteen, thirteen. Oh, oh. service so over. And how the momentum can shift. To Gilmore seizing the early lead. Patrice. Leading 9 4. And then the fight back from Carrales began. 
Okay, that's the song. Thank you, line judge. Interesting diving. Thank you, first. To retrieve the shuttle, and then the fist pump from Corrales on the winner. 14 all. A 15 40 pulled net shot cross court has been the one that Kirsty has struggled with this week. Hey. Service over, nice return of serve. 15 all. delicate net shots. Service over. 16, all. The cross court lift from the Scott. Long and wide. Point for point now. Seven silver for Corrales. Seventeen sixteen. And the shuttle just hit the net cord. Bounced and just added an extra couple of hundred mil onto to the trajectory and landing just out. Great rally that time for the Scott. Eighteen Service over. Yeah, the quality of the net shot in Corral is really good. 17, 18. And that really was a huge point for the Spaniard. Couldn't afford to go three points behind, behind at this crucial point in this first game. Again, great net from Corrales. Beautiful smash into the body. Might have been going wrong, yeah, as Kirsty indicated. 18, oh. Oh. So, so up. Nineteen eighteen. coming forward. 20, game point, 18. Takes a Scott to game point.
game. And that's it. After a shaky mid-game patch, Kirsty Gilmore comes to the First game won by Kirsty Gilmore, 21-18. The Scott Euler, remember, raced into that four-love lead early in the match. But Corrales, the battling Beatrice Corrales, came right back to level all up at 11 all. And then point for point, the 16 all. Before Gilmore took a two-point advantage, 18-16. And Corrales battles back again to level it up at 18 all. And three points in a row for Scott. To take the first game 21-18, and it's the number two seed and defending champion. The lead's one set to low. Second game, love all, play. Service over. One, love. So second game underway is the first point. Spain's Beatrice Corrales. Out. Service over. One. Oh. Kirsty, come off court, please. Kirsty Gilmore just needs footwear adjustment. Kirsty, Kirsty, take care of this next time in the interval. Okay, sorry. Okay. Okay. Good yes. discussion with the umpire. We're ready to Thank recommence you. this women's singles final. One all. One all in the second game. Gilmore taking the first 21 18. Service over. <laughs> Two, one. Nice angling on the backhand side with the smash from Corrales. Just taking a little bit of pace off it, going for accuracy. Again, good net from the Scot. And this time, the drop, just catching the net tape. Yes. Three, one. This match just a little bit lacking. So much expected of both these players. Both really world top 20 players. Service over. Better on their day. 
this game so far just a little bit edgy. A little Two, bit cagey. three. Thank you. Five, three. This match, we're seeing the fist pump in the air. Six, to Gilmore. three. It's something that all these top players practice. Just diving, retrieving, but that instant recovery to get back into the rally. A mid rally, you saw that from Kirsty Gilmore. Oh, that was a poor shot, Kirsty, and equally as poor from Beatrice. Seven. Three. I think Kirsty knows you got out of jail on that point. <coughs> and again, early in the second game, it's a healthy four point advantage for the Scottish number two seed. Savvy Silva. Time. Four, seven. Corrales just clipping the line. Hot. <laughs> Service over. Better drop that time from Kirsty. Speed on the shuttle. <laughs> Service over. Yeah, I'm talking about. The body language will suggest that Gilmore is enjoying this just a little bit more than nine this. four. Perfectly executed cross net from Beatrice and you can Five, trying to punch ten. yourself up. Hey. Yeah, nice power smash. Service over. Eleven five. Enter what? The Corrales from Gilborn takes the start. To the end of the lead. 11 5 and really. The defending champion looking most comfortable on court at the moment. One set to the good. They're winning the first 21 80 and 11 5 up. In the second, all going the way of Gilmore at the moment. Everything's going right off. Beatrice Parada. She's a fighter. She's been playing so well this week.
20 seconds, 20 seconds. Eleven, five, play. Service over. Six, eleven. Seven, eleven. Oh. Save so over. Twelve seven. Twelve seven. And while Beatrice Carras may have stopped the rot, it's a huge five point advantage for Scotland's Kirsty Gilmore. Number one. 13-7. And of course, the focus for Gilmore will certainly turn towards being Britain's number one in the Rio Olympics. And the qualification starts in May. Yes. Service over. Eight forty. Service over. Beautiful straight smash. Fifteen. Eight. And the fight just starting to drift out of the bones of Beatrice Corrales. through the first game. She's just starting to let drift by her at this point. Oh. 17, 8. Super fight again from Gilmore. 
Makes you work so hard around the court. Savage Silva. with a poor <laughs> shot. Uncharacteristically weak. But expended a lot of energy in that rally. Kirsty will never, ever give up on any. 9.17. More footwear adjustment for the Scot. But a good point that for Beatrice. I certainly think the Spaniard will want to go down and go down fighting. Eight point deficit and already one set down. 35 minutes gone in this women's singles final. Nothing going on. Right. Savi Silva, 18 9. Gilmore, loopy serve. 19-9. 20, match point, 9. 36 minutes, match point, Kirsty Gilmore, and she'll want to get this done and dusted as soon as possible. The Fizz certainly got out of this match. Okay. First time, the first time we've asked him, Kirsty Gilmore defends her title. It's such a hard thing to do, but the Scott comes back and defends. The Swedish Masters title gets her name in that beautiful trophy for the second time. Match won by Kirsty Gilmore, 21-18, 21-9. Kirsty Gilmore who wins 21-18, 21-9. Prize giving ceremony coming up shortly, and then we'll have a short interview with Kirsty on the fourth match. Conference final day with the men's singles, Rajiv Usyk against Pablo Abiel. Thank you very much for all the support. Um, maybe I'll be back next year and um, hopefully another win. 
Yeah. And now you're looking for the Olympics in Rio, or what are your future plans now? Yeah, definitely. Just trying to get in good shape and start qualifying in May, and then hopefully have a, a good run right the way through to next summer at the Olympics. Okay, welcome back for a hat trick next year. Next match coming up is the men's single final. Please welcome the technical officials.